Shalom and welcome to Souls on Fire. Talk radio host Mr. Rush Limbaugh introduces himself as with talent on loan from God. This left me always queasy of his arrogance until I focused on the word loan. Loan denotes something that needs to be paid back. How does one pay back God for the loan of talent? Stay tuned to Don't You Dare Waste That Talent. This week's Torah portion begins with at the end of two years. The obvious question is at the end of two years of what? For that we'll have to return back to the end of last week's Torah portion story. Joseph was thrown into prison by his master Potiphar for he was accused by his master's wife of trying to rape her. In prison, Joseph meets Pharaoh's butler and Pharaoh's baker. They each have a dream and do not know the interpretation. Joseph interprets the dream for them and then tells the butler, when you will be returned to service, please remember me. Please mention my innocence to King Pharaoh. The last word of last week's Torah portion is Vayishkicheu. He did not remember him and he forgot him. The butler forgot Joseph. It was two years after that. Question is, why did Joseph have to remain in prison for these extra two years? Rashi, Rab Shlomo Yitzchaki, classic commentary, of the 11th century gives his explanation and I quote because Joseph relied on him the butler to remember him Joseph he was compelled to be confined for two years an additional two years in prison as it is said praiseworthy is the man who made the Lord his trust and did not turn to the haughty end quote problematic. Jewish law clearly describes that one may not rely on miracles. If Joseph would not have used the opportunity through the ways of nature to ask the butler to intervene, that would have been a sin. God wants us to use all the ways of nature so then the question returns, why was Joseph punished for doing what Jewish law mandates we do? To use all physical and natural avenues to be able to bring about our salvation. Joseph is considered of committing a crime for which he sat an extra two years in prison. Why? To understand this, please sit back and watch the following clips of Peter Parker, otherly known to us as Spider-Man. Hey! He stole the game! Stop that guy! Stop him! He's got my money! Thanks. What the hell's the matter with you? You let him go! Cut him off from the lobby and call the cops! You could have taken that guy apart. Now he's going to get away with my money. I missed the part where that's my problem. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stay back. 
Carjacker, he's been shot. Look, we just called the paramedics. They're on their way. Hey, hey, stay back. Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben? Here. Over here, Uncle Ben. Here. Just give me a chance. Just give me a chance! What about my uncle? Did you give him a chance? Did you? I missed him a lot today. I know. I miss him too. The last thing I said to him, he tried to tell me something important, and I threw it in his face. Joseph was gifted by God with a very special talent of trust and with a very unique relationship with God. For wasting that talent, Joseph was sentenced to prison. To quote one of my mentors who quoted his mentor, and I'll tell it to you in the exact Yiddish version, of Patrin Atalant Zistman. For wasting a talent, one sits. My friends, I am not as afraid of having to answer God on my ultimate day of judgment when the time comes, as for why I have sinned all the sins that I have slipped into. No. However, what I am very concerned about is to answer God when God asks me the following question. So, Avraham, what did you do with the talents that I gave you? This is the ultimate question one must face on his ultimate day of judgment. So go out there. Stop being afraid and paralyzed of spiritual and physical failure. Go out there and make a difference. Do what only someone with your talent can do. This, my dear friends, is how we repay our talent on loan from God. My friends, 
dare to be a soul on fire connecting with your higher self. Mm -hmm.